Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul, my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul, my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul, my soul shall Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul. My soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul, my soul shall be healed. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul, my soul, my soul shall be Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With an humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. 
Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he did endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. As with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fun of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's 
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Amen. 